Let the dog be your friend. rivalry that first was united through the wall and now for what's left of it seems to be a rivalry between passion and hate this derby is a unique one until 1989 Unión and Hertha were located in different countries like seriously 40 years ago they were divided by the Berlin Wall into East and West Germany it ran through the heart of the city which split its families friends and of course football clubs. Both set of fans became to cheer for another, as a lot of people on both sides longed for united Germany while the wall was up. Fast forward 20 years and as all rivalries, once something is on the line, things escalate quickly and once they face each other, it got heated. It might start with Union player Christopher Kiering who called Hertha fans Aussies. It became evident that both teams had their own identity and everything to play for, with both set of fans burning merchandise from their rivals throughout the match and even fans trying to invade the pitch. It is clear that this derby is a huge one, where form or status doesn't matter. It matters who rules the city of Berlin. Hertha or Union, Oost or the West. It's time to go to Berlin and check out the atmosphere. Right guys, I just arrived in the beautiful Berlin. And I also want to thank you guys for the amazing support I've received over the past few days. It's been insane. However, 90% of you guys is still not subscribed yet. So please do so to support this channel and to allow me to go to even more crazy derbies and experience all over Europe. Time to explore this beautiful and historic city. So let's roll the cinematics of my experience. Let's go. Honestly, I love this place. It's like one big open museum. Now it's time to shoot some hyperlapse because take pride right in the word Ich bin ein Billy. Right guys, that was a beautiful city of Berlin. Now it's time to go to the Derby, to the stadium. Let's go. We're at the stadium now. It's a little bit early. There's a lot of police right there. Okay. Let's see how people lit this match day and enjoy this Derby. Let's go. Apfelsaft aus. Vodka in. <laughs> That's how you do it in Germany. We'll get it inside the stadium. Hertha boys, thank you guys so much for taking care of me today. We had a lot of drinks. What's the score going to be? 2-0 Hertha. Oh, one, one. still confident despite you guys being 17. <laughs> you need to win this game. We, we have to. Okay, okay, <laughs> guys. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy this day. It's so nice to go to these games and like meet these guys here and just enjoy this message with real Hertha fans. That's what it's all about. Let's go inside, enjoy the atmosphere and magic. Let's go. Should be a big choreo for the whole stadium. With this atmosphere, I think Hertha can surprise me. I'm gonna go with a 1-1 one, one draw. Let's see what Let's go, here we go, Dobby. There are some ultras, and there are the ultras. There's 
not much happening on the field, but on the stands, the atmosphere is just amazing from both sides. Both supporters, Ultras, go insane when he starts. <laughs> It's the right for half time, it's wonderful for the first chance they get. Really nice header, it's wonderful for them. And they're really derby and they're way ahead of taking off. And that's half time, it's wonderful for you, buddy. I mean, that's how you start the second half, right? They're still bleeding in it. All I can say is that like the fans deserve so much more from the players. Like the atmosphere, it's like bouncing. Rios, Barros, and it feels like the players just can't deliver up to the fans. Like that ball just to space the left of Hertha at this moment, right? It's just not what we need. Guys, that's for time. It's two no, for the Newman League. Congratulations to all the Newman League friends. That just was another crazy experience with a lot of atmosphere and passion from the fans. I see you guys tomorrow. Another crazy experience, I hope. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button. I see you guys in the next episode.